hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am truly grateful thank you all so much so today we'll be talking something very important and i am not in the best mood because i feel this is an avoided situation it's something that would have not it would not it wouldn't have happened if the cops had showed up but uh, as usual it was a call from a black person it was ignored and the fact that they were very close to the city like you know this, what happened happened very close to police station made it even worse a man was driving and a white man hopped into his car and he was frightened and sent messages to 911 sent to the wife and they tried calling 911 right for help which they did and uh to their greatest surprise they did not come they did not turn up the wife drove one hour to where the husband the location the husband was only to find out that the husband has in pew pew by the same person that hopped into his car right and sincerely speaking police station was very close very close few blocks away to where this happened and do you know when they turned up they came when everything has happened. The man is no more. And I am asking, why are you guys being this crazy and mean? Why did they not respond? Yeah, because it was a black person that called it. This is how I feel. And that, that is how it's been. And the man is no more. Stay good to the screen. I'm going to, I'm going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So straight up here we go. It's heartbreaking. One minute this black man was texting his auntie happy birthday. The next minute he was texting his wife. His life was in danger and he didn't make it. Let me tell you this story. Last Friday, Quaylen Campbell texted his aunt happy birthday. And not long after that, he texted his wife, 911, send help, please. With a picture of a random man in his passenger side of his car. Quaylen was driving his work car down a random street in Colorado Springs when a person with a pew pew, a white man, jumped in his car. Once his wife received a message, she immediately dialed 911 at about 1.13. She immediately jumped in her car. It was about a 45 minute drive for her to get to her husband. When she got there in 45 minutes, the police had never even got there. Come to find out, the police were only three to five minutes away from the crime scene. She found her husband with pew 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 wounds and was unalive. The white man with the pew pew took Quaylen's life and then took his own. Now this family is torn apart and looking for answers of why the Colorado Springs Police Department didn't do a damn thing. Now they quote unquote, the police are supposed to be investigating themselves, seeing what took them so long to respond. Just sad. And this is a terrible tragedy that could have been avoided. I feel so bad for this family. I'll give you more of this story as it develops. I don't know what else to say. If you want to support the page, hit the link in my bio. Make sure y'all follow me. I'm out. Heartbreaking news out of Colorado. Last Friday, Quaylen Campbell texted his aunt, happy birthday. And not much longer after that, he texted his wife and said, 911, send help. And he sent her a picture of a random man in his passenger seat of his car. Quaylen was driving his work car down a busy street in Colorado Springs when a random man jumped in his car with a gun. Off immediately dials 911 and gets in her car and goes to where he is at. It takes her 45 minutes to reach him and... When she gets there, she sees that police never even showed up yet. This poor woman found her husband's body. The police headquarters was on the same road as Quallen. It's been in father, Quaylen Campbell killed in Colorado. Police there are now telling the family that detectives are investigating why no officers showed up in time to help Campbell even after his wife called 911. Campbell's family in tears telling our John Sherry they can only wonder what if. 
One moment he is texting his aunt in Atlanta, happy birthday. Love you. Then suddenly, Quaylen Campbell, who is in his work vehicle on this busy stretch of road in Colorado Springs, where he and his wife and two daughters live now, is texting his wife to call 911. That's Quaylen's arm in the foreground and sitting next to him in the front passenger seat, a gunman he does not know who had just jumped into the car. Quaylen texting his wife for help, trying not to let the gunman see that he's texting. Talia Campbell immediately calls 911 and starts to drive to get to Quaylen. It takes her more than 45 minutes to get to him. And when she arrives, she sees that no police had ever shown up. She's the one who discovers Quaylen's body inside the vehicle, shot to death. Police say the gunman, a stranger, had killed Quaylen and then killed himself. It's hard. Quaylen's cousin in Fairburn, Kendra Farmer. And I feel like if they would have made it, he probably would have survived. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Quaylen's aunts, Shedra Graham and Bernice Graham. But to think somebody could have helped him, and nobody showed up. Nobody deserves that. Family attorney Harry Daniels from Atlanta says police have told him that it was a random crime. The gunman, a transient, Daniels says, with an extensive criminal record. And now Daniels says police are investigating themselves about why it took officers so long to respond to that 911 call. Quaylen's family holding on to him. Quaylen was a gentle giant. Aching for answers as much as they ache in their hearts for him. He was the best father ever. In fair... Trigger warning in this one, guys. I recently came across this article with a headline. Woman says police didn't respond to 911 report that her husband was taken hostage until after he had already been killed. A woman who received a desperate text from her husband indicating he had been taken hostage said Tuesday that she had called 911, but the police did not respond until about an hour later, by which time he had been shot and killed. On its online police blogger, the Colorado Springs Police Department said they found two deceased adult males on Friday at the location that Talisha Campbell said she feared her husband, Quaylen Campbell, was being held by another man. Talisha Campbell said she called just after 1 p.m. when her husband, a father of two, texted his location and a photo of a man sitting next to him in his car. Then he sent messages saying 911 and send please. She called the emergency number. As y'all can see here, this is the text message that he had sent. I'm not sure who this dude is, but this is a pretty clear photo of him. The police did say they found two deceased males at the location. I don't know if he was the other one or not, but if he is still alive, hopefully the police can find him. If he's the other victim, however, then hopefully the police can figure out if they have any uh, mutual acquaintances. Feel free to pause here if you want to read all this but in a nutshell Campbell told one dispatcher that she believed her husband had been taken hostage described his car and the location that he was in that dispatcher sent her to another dispatcher she had to relay all the same information that dispatcher then told her that an officer would check it out but there didn't seem to be any sense of urgency so she took matters into her own hands and as y'all can see above me uh, she ended up finding her husband's company car went over to it found her husband dead and just um you know, the, the, the police didn't do anything. She called the police at 1 p.m. The police didn't get there until 2.09 p.m. It took police over an hour to respond to a possible hostage situation. And we can make all the excuses we want about, oh, well, were there enough police on the force at the time? You know, were there enough on shift? Oh, well, were they all busy doing their own things? I don't care. If there was a possible hostage situation, that should have been alerted to every single officer and they should have had somebody immediately en route to the location. Of all the types of calls that police respond to, how many take higher precedence than a hostage situation? I don't think it's too many and the only thing I can think of to make any of this make any sense to me is that it's Colorado and over the past six months or so, I have read a lot of articles based out of Colorado and the whack shit that their police are doing. And here, once again, we have a case of Colorado police failing to do their job. The man behind me is Quaylen Campbell, and this is his beautiful family who deserve justice. What's up, everybody? All right, you guys, so before we get started, if you're not already following me, make sure you hit that follow button and let's get into this story. Now, Talia and Quaylen Campbell, they are a married couple that was living in Noonan, Georgia. Now, the couple share two children together, a beautiful four-year-old and a 14-year-old. And both of them are highly educated people, you guys. They both graduated college. They both went on to work really good jobs. And Quaylen even owns a business. So, in July of last year, Quaylen and his family ended up moving to Peyton, Colorado. Now, they got a beautiful home. He's working a really good job and everything seems to be going good. So, on June 2nd, Quaylen went to work just like any other day, but his wife received a very strange text message around 1 p.m. 
So Quaylen texts his wife and he texts her 911 police and help. Now his wife is confused. She don't know what's going on, but he also sent a picture of a man who was in his car. So Quaylen's wife, Talia, she immediately went into go mode. She texts him what's wrong. What do you need me to do? She also asked him to send his location. Now, after gathering Quaylen's location, that's when Talia ended up calling the police. So while on the phone with dispatch, Talia told them everything that she knew. She said her husband sent her this frantic text. She believed that he was being held at gunpoint and she believed that this man was holding him hostage. Now, she also sent them his location. She did everything that she was supposed to do, but she was transferred over to another dispatch. Now, Talia is frantically trying to get help, but she feels like they are not moving as fast as they could be. So since she had her husband's location, she decided to hop in her car and drive to wherever this location was. So y'all, Talia ended up finding her husband's car in this parking lot. Now, what's weird is there is a police station that is on the same street as this parking lot. But when Talia arrived to this parking lot, there were no police there, but she did spot her husband's car, so she got out and immediately ran to it. Now, y'all, that's when Talia made a very shocking discovery. In this car, Talia found her husband slumped over and he had been shot. Now, y'all, what's so weird, in the passenger seat, she sees the same man that her husband sent the picture of. Now, he is too shot and he is dead. She's trying to check for a post on her husband. She's trying to do everything she can do. And that's when she called her uncle up there to help as well as continuously calling the police. Now, they tried to save her husband's life, but sadly, he did pass away. Now, everybody is trying to understand if the police was right there on that same street, why did Talia make it there before the police even responded to this call? I got to the location that he shared. And all of that time from me talking with the police and driving to his location took an entire hour and you can hear the heartbreak in her voice that was Quaylen Campbell she was in wor her work vehicle in his or Quaylen Campbell was in his work vehicle in Colorado Springs when a gunman got into his car he texts his wife you just heard from to call 911 mm -hmm. and she was on the so this is what we got from this video and uh I don't know how I feel you know I have been seeing things like this. This is not my first time, but there are some cases that you are so much in shock that you are asking yourself, like, how did this happen? Because this is something that would have been avoided. I mean, like, you know, knowing the fact that where the man made, uh, tried contacting 911, it's super very close like he was on the same lane or on the same close like the same place with police station and they never showed up the wife also contacted them they never showed up Whew. you can imagine what was running through the man's mind all through the period maybe the man was in the same car with him while he was looking for a way to get help you can imagine the wife had to drive like an hour to get to where the husband was only for her to find out that the husband has a pew pew by the same man she he sent the picture to her i mean Somebody said something that police department is one of the most rare and cis department. And I concur with them. I concur. Because I don't see why. Because it's not a white person that called. Because if it were a white person, they would have gone straight up to know what was going on. They took all their time because it was a black person. Yeah. This also boiled down to a story somebody told. A black man was on his tree. A white woman was screaming, shouting, like he cannot tell what was wrong, but he felt like that person was in distress and decided to call the cops on her behalf. I mean, he was not the one going through that. He was not in distress, but he learned that somebody probably was in distress and called because he was a black person they did not attend to him you know when they called back they called back the next day 
and ask you we got a call from this person uh, is it still urgent or do you still need our assistance after how many hours i mean they can do i don't know i am this is so draining waking up to stories like this you people have no idea it is so draining and i am sick and tired of hearing the same like not really the same story similar things happen and uh, where the cops are supposed to help they are not helping out this is where i am going to draw the curtain thank you so much for all the love and support see you all in my next video bye for now